Hi guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use time quantizing in Logic. Quantizing is a really useful tool that can be used to snap MIDI in place, so if anything has been played in out of time, you can bring it in to, so it's played perfectly in time. However, it can be used to make things sound more natural, but we'll be going over all of the parameters for that. So to have a look at our quantizing, we can either double click on our MIDI region to bring up the piano roll, or we can click on P for the shortcut for the piano roll. And then all of our parameters are going to be over here on the left. So there are three parameters for us to look at. Most importantly really is the note length. So if we click on this, we can choose what note we want to snap everything to, okay? So we have all of our standard ones here, so whole note, half note, all the way down to 64th note. We also have some triplet options, some swing options, and then some tuplet options at the bottom as well. But we're just gonna be focusing on these areas because by knowing how these work, you'll also be able to use all of these. So the way this works is that you'll select whatever notes you want to quantize, or you might want to quantize an entire section. So we can just hit Command A. You'll select what note you want to quantize it to, and then it'll put everything in place. Now, how it determines where the notes actually go is decided by what note value they are closest to. So if I were to select a whole note, all of the notes that are closest to here, so that'd be this one, all of these actually, will snap over here, whereas these notes are closer to this value, so they'll snap over there. And that'll be the same for the whole section that we've applied to. So all of the notes that are closest to that value have been snapped perfectly in place to that. Now that same principle would be applied to all of our note values. So if we select a half note, all the notes that are closest to this section, so anything in these kind of regions will go here, anything in these regions will go over here and so on. Now, of course, we don't want this because we have a lot of quick notes in this section. So the way that you'd want to actually quantize it is take a look at what your quickest note value is and you'd want to select that one over here. So my quickest value is a 16th note. So I'd go over, select 16th, and I'll snap it in place. Now, the reason I mentioned the previous point about how things actually snap in place is because you have to be quite careful when quantizing, because if something is played just a little bit too out of time, then it can snap to the wrong position. So for example, well, I've played in these keys. I'm not very good at keys, so I don't play them in time very well. So these notes here are actually going, probably going to snap to these positions where they're actually meant to be over here in these sections. But because they're a bit too out of time, they're going to snap to the wrong place. So I'll just go ahead and apply that. I'll apply my 16th note. And yeah, they have gone to those positions. So it's very important once you have quantized to just have a listen to make sure everything sounds as it should. And if it doesn't, you can quite easily adjust it. So I'll just have a listen. Yeah, so both of those notes are out of place. So I can just select both of them, shift them over, and they'll snap in place there as well. Now, if we want to keep a more natural feel after we've quantized something, we can use the strength over here. And this is quite self-explanatory in that this is how strong the quantizing will be applied. So on 100, everything's going to snap perfectly in place like it has here. All of the notes have been snapped to a 16th note position. Whereas if I just select all of them and start reducing the strength, they'll start to move closer to their normal position. So if we use this subtly, say about 80 or so, then things are still going to be slightly out, but close enough to be more in time than they originally were, but they'll still keep that natural feel to them. If you've programmed something in that you want to sound more natural, then we can use the swing option, which puts some notes out of position slightly to give it that swing feel. So if I just select all of my notes here, start bringing some swing, you'll see some of the notes start to shift over. So again, this is something we want to use quite subtly. So maybe 25 to 40, anywhere in that region, will start to make it a bit more noticeable, but not unrealistic or unnatural. So by using both of these, we can actually still create quite human sounding MIDI. Quantizing is a really useful tool that I use all the time myself. If I'm playing something in, you can just snap it into place a lot easier than programming it and you can still get that realistic human feel to it by using the strength and swing options. I hope you found this video useful, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.